where were we going? We were going, oh yeah, to try to find the map. I remember now. Harrison says that's a 1 million HP zero damage summon. I mean, he launched his fists and did a lot of damage to me. So if he's a summon with a million HP and launching fists, I think I'm pretty happy. It does, oh right. It does seem like that would be a very good summon for tanking though, yeah. Aggravate. I'll take it. It's the big golem guy. Hey, it's me, golem guy. Golem Gotha. What a great name for a golem. Golem Gotha. These are the blood fiends. Well, I hate those guys, but we'll have to fight them in a second. These are the towers for the bridge, I believe, that connect to the Shadow Keep. What the hell is this, guys? This is when I wish I had a better, like, thrown ability. I want to throw something over here. This is the best I got. Doesn't even stagger these boys. They're just big and angry. I got multiple of them on me. They're all around me. Hide behind the tree. Well, you're, you're like the... Wait, there's big ones and small ones? Something doesn't seem right about this. Something does not seem right about this. Keep getting stuck on terrain. Good God. Let me leave. I didn't mean it. Well, that didn't work. Oh, this is a bad idea. They don't care at all about the lightning. Free aim. Dude, this guy doesn't get stunned by anything. jump and attack and do the things that I wanted to do. No! Okay. Now it's just the big boy. He's big. You've got the Moog move? It makes sense, you are like a blood enemy. What the frick is that? <laughs> okay. He is so dangerous. Okay. I didn't get any flasks back after killing that man. I guess there's more. Wow, these guys suck. They're the big boys of the group. Well, um... Got a lot of souls. No real uh, bonfires nearby, huh? Here's the thing. We've already fought the strong foe ahead, right? 
right? And then we can just grab this and run. Sacred Bloody Flesh times five. Boost attack power. Boost physical attack power in arcane once. Attack power boosted further when blood loss occurs. Raw meat soaked with blood. What? I wonder if that's secretly a pretty good item. One of those ways of stacking damage buffs. Because there's uh, increases attack power when bleed happens, when madness happens, when poison happens. You need to stack them all up. Stack them all up. No. Not right now. <laughs> I need to get some flasks. You might be one of the big ones. Dudes, I can fight dudes. Dudes are not a problem. This is just like some guy, maybe with a dog. I can't believe you hit me. Got your chest ahead. Really? Hell yeah, brother. No flasks yet, huh? Also, no treasure chests, so that was a lie. Where was it? Treasure chest ahead? Poor message. Oh, never mind, I found it. Really tiny one. Pearl Shield Talisman. Boosts all non-physical damage negation while guarding. I have heard people say that actually guarding is a lot better in the game now. I wonder if that's part of the, uh, the thing. It makes guarding better. It makes it actually worthwhile. I think there's like a weapon art that makes guarding better, like a sword that makes guarding better. So you can actually like Sekiro gameplay and just like, well, that's not how it works, but like, parry, parry counter, the Sekiro tier, yeah, that's what it was, like a tier as well. Not the dog, not to the dog, not to the dog. Hey, come here. You son of a... Not to the dog! Did you not kill a golem at the start of the DLC? Uh, like the furnace golem? Like the one wandering around the, the gravesite plains? I killed him. I'm not gonna remember what he dropped. Is that the one who dropped Sekiro to here? I'm sure I have it, in that case. Yeah, I've killed all of the furnace golems that I've seen at this point. He got, he got airtime. Hell yeah. You're not the enemy I'm going at for, but uh,
should try it. Just like try it and just guard. Good. Good. I can't believe none of these guys gave me flasks. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I just wanted a flask. Get the tear, not the tears, the runes. Gotta find another uh, grace. I should have done this inside of the previous dungeon. That's my bad. Dog does not give me enough time. The roll poke is really good and effective against dogs. I should be using that at all times. This guy is like, you killed my dog! How dare you! Oh, rip. Oh good, my fifth Mesmer Axe. Dogs are way stronger than their owners. You can use weapon weapon for blocking and it works? Okay, yeah. The, uh, I, I like the idea of that, like, tier and I guess uh, uh, equipment talisman in the game because it does kind of turn it into a little bit of a Sekiro game where you actually have to maybe block or time your blocks. Oh, God! I haven't seen one of these guys in, in a while, in a hot minute. Alright. AKA... Annoying trying to get to the Jarsenal. I, I figured I wasn't gonna get to him in time with how he how he fell. Go ahead. Thank you. Excuse me. And his chest is in a wall this time around. Whoa! I'm stuck in his feet. Pull back. No, he didn't. I thought he would. Dong, 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 dong. It's really hard when you're on a ledge. He's gonna kick some dirt. These guys were annoying back in Lindale. What was the what's the most annoying one is the magical one that you have to fight one of. But you can keep them staggered as long as you stagger them once. Just keep hitting their uh, their feet with heavy attacks. how I beat the one, the magical one in the right of Kaelid, down the drop. This one, oh god. Right here. You can take the, right here? One of these ones, I think it's this one. You can take the spirit spring and actually land there. Harrison says, I have to leave now. Is this uh, spoiler territory or is it just like past your bedtime? <laughs> Either way, have a, have a good night.
It's starting to look like I'm going to be able to get the map. Which is awesome. I'm still looking for a bonfire. So few of them. Dang it, man, where all bonfires go, man? This is where I entered from. Wait, where's the dungeon I was just in? Oh, there it is. There. To the north. Did I just, wait, did I just loop around? Where the hell am I? <laughs> Sorry? You're just one of the little baby ones. Oh, you know what? Now that it got a little bit brighter and a little bit greener, I have a little bit more of an idea of where I am. It just got so foggy. Oh no. They kind of make the disappearing effect that makes me believe that they would stay dead forever, but that doesn't happen too much in this DLC, does it? This goes up towards the place we were just at. The dungeon, the forge. Oh, you guys gave me flasks back, rude. Seeing too much of note down here, though. Ah, there we go, there we go. Oh, you're a dead one. All right, let's do this. All right, dog dead. Where that dog at? Knee heal. I'm invincible. I got eye frames, doofus. Why do they got knee heal over here? Blood Fiend's Sacred Spear. All right, what do we think that's gonna be? Not a twin. Um, quick, 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 anything. I say anything, but it's a pretty good one. I forgot all about this weapon. <laughs> it's such a fun one. Uh, where the hell is this? Sacred Spear. There it is. One of the most significant implements used in their blood rituals. Sacred Spears of Blood are the instruments of communion with an outer god, the Mother. Truth desires a wound. Blood Boon. Raise the Sacred Spear and pierce the body of the Mother of Truth, causing an explosion of blood fame 
blood flame in the area surrounding the target. Additional inputs allow for up to three additional attacks. Is this actually knee heal, knee heal, knee heal? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a big stick. This is, like, the lake, the pond, I guess? It looked important. <laughs> Glad I came here now. Because there absolutely is a knee heal, knee heal, knee heal that you can do. I don't, like, that seemed garbage. I'm sure it just has to be leveled up a little bit, but... You know, we'll, we'll work on that. We'll consider it. Because it didn't seem like it was actually hitting, at least, not both of the enemies. Maybe it was hitting one, but... <laughs> map, please, yeah, we gotta go get the map. Which is to the west. It's less foggy right now, and I think I've got everything that I wanted, unless... Maybe the knee was line of sight, it got blocked by the cliff next to you. That's a possibility as well. Yeah, could have just been awkward positioning. Please. Oh! Let's go! Climb! This is bad. This is... We're still going, though. What the heck? Okay. Hmm. We're up pretty high. Things are dying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Map so I could see where you got that spear. Oh, it's just, uh... <laughs> so, from Morth Ruins, you can go up and around, and then there's just a pond. There we go. Still no item. Why is it always dung? Well, we're pretty high up. Let me take a look around. Dude, we are going to be able to get the map. If I can get down. Without dying. Surprisingly, not that hard. Rob Burrow. Used for crafting. In the center of the stone lies a small nest-like hole. Once this is inhabited by a sprite, the stone can be used as a ritual implement. A nest-like hole? That's not how I would, like, clarify that. It's just a hole. It's like a donut. I don't call donut holes nest-like donuts. Mmm. Got any of them nest-like donut holes? Can't help but notice there's not really any, like, cave systems at all. Doesn't seem like it anyways. More of these boys. So we can go. South, which should, I think, overlook Fog Rift. Yeah. There's Fog Rift. Thing there? No. You can go up and to the right. A 
dudes here in the bushes. And a map. And a sealed spirit spring. Which provides access ooh, to something else we've been unable to access yet. There you go. Map found. We're missing one. So row is like this entire garbage underground path place. All of this. And it looks like there is a little bit of a connector here. And then some sort of a ruined, flooded area up ahead. I want to check out what's over here, though. Although, I I imagine there's going to be a bonfire just, just to the west, but... There could also be a bonfire right at the top of this hill. And if there's not, it's a hill, so there's probably a dead end to it. But, looks like that's not the case. Dang ghosts. Ghostmen. The heck? You're not a ghost pig, you're just a pig. Are you a, like a dog or are you a just wild animal? You're a wild animal. With like 15 runes. Get out of here, pig. Where the hell are we going? Kind of red grass out of nowhere. What the heck? Speak, friend, and enter, right? Don't target them. We're part of the Forger brood. We're all friends here. <laughs> I mean, I don't really want to murder them all. I see where we are. In this moat, which I suppose will come over here. And it looks like for the upper green area, we have to go through the shadow keep. Okay, well, let's not worry so much about this direction because it looks like it's all going to connect together anyways. And if it all connects together, we might as well go uh, into that little castle bit. What are these things? Because I am still looking for a... I'm still looking for a, uh... It's just a blood rock. Grace, still. Grace! I know there's a spirit spring down there, but I gotta get the grace. I haven't rested in so long. I'm tired. All right. Let's, uh... I think I can jump up there, too, on the Spirit Spring, but... Let's deal with this little flooded castle base thing. Or instead of dealing with the flooded castle base thing, we can just climb the rocks. <laughs> now, there's nothing up here. Yeah. 
Hi. All right. Yeah, back up, man. You are no part of this. What a hilariously oversized weapon this is. <laughs> White arc. Oh, I'm gonna spin to win so many fools. I know you don't want to fight. Don't care. Let's see how this works on dogs. Should work well. What a fun item. <laughs> What was that? Thought I heard some big winged thing try to fly in, but I think I might be wrong about that. Oh, horsey, horsey, careful, careful. So that is the area we started in. Look at that. Temple Town Ruins. Temple Town? Temple Town! Potman! Hello, Potman! Red Flesh Mushroom. It must not be a Potman that has an item, it's a Potman that throws his pot. Subtly different. But an important distinction. Don't know if we'll get flasks back from any of this. That looks like Melania's Scarlet Rot. Jumping required head, hole ahead, try horse. Oh, I angered something on the other side of the wall. Likely hole. What is it with the what is it with gamers and holes? Yuck. Hmm. A little hard to see with all the vegetation in Temple Town. Okay, I mean like I've half explored Temple Town and I haven't really found anything. Temple Town kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll say it. Mason the Wolf, welcome. Hello, it's Mason who's on holiday. Who's on holiday? <laughs> good, 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 uh, good to have a holiday every once in a while. Like, a, is it a long holiday break that you're on? Is it a short holiday break? Because for me, for me, it's a 
well, Wednesday. I was going to say Tuesday, but that, that would be a very big lie. It's not, in fact, Tuesday. Yeah, I know I'm in Temple Town. Got a week left of your break. Nice. What hit me? Guy throwing rocks. I've seen a lot of the exact same message, says pasty cake. I want to go home and then edge and I have to assume it's a meme, but I don't know it. Oh. <laughs> Anytime uh, anyone uses like edge burst, uh, eruption, pickle. They're talking about, you know, going home and doing something in private with your own personal body. Pleasure. I have to go home and edge. It's a pretty good message. I don't know why the mes message is so popular. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why the message is so popular. It makes me chuckle. Why do people like funny number? I don't know, it just makes you chuckle. I haven't seen the statue of America from this place. See, sometimes you throw the pot, sometimes the pot is items. Which is it? Which is it gonna be? How do I get in? Oh, oh, oh. I saw that ghost. I feel like a boss. You s I just healed. I feel like a boss who can, like, spam. It's like, what are you gonna do about it? You don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. You can't see any of this animation, I'm just spamming. You, you have a, a glowy pot. Silver horn tender and a row barrow. Aww. You're a putrescent boss. <laughs> I'm putrescent incarnate. Is there a putrescent's armor? Because then you could RP. I'll rename my character. I'll be the pu the putrescent knight. Hello. What the heck? There's a thing in there. Kind of want to mark that because there's just a just a thing in there. Okay. You're not dead. I get it. I get it. I think I could have done it from above. Hold on. 
Let's go. All right. Some smithing stone. Finally killed all these enemies. Seek hole. Lol. Oh God. Whenever the frame rate dips below 60 and the camera turns suddenly, it gets a little bit like, oh God. Careful. Oh, nothing over here, boo. Up we go! Nope, never mind. The best type of glowing pot. I do love me some glowing pots. There's an item there. Don't let me forget about that one. I have to do it. I don't know if you're gonna be like a hidden dog that's gonna jump up and try to kill me. Oh, it's one of you! Ha <laughs> Hmm. What if we do one of these? Ha <laughs> ha! Something. Something tells me that spamming the weapon art is not gonna do it, so. Ah, let's give it a shot. I think I broke his AI. Nope, he's fine. Damn it. Almost had it, almost had it. These are like great omen warriors or something and they hit like a truck. Ugh. The pot build. Best type glowing pot. I wish that there were uh, holy pots because I don't think there are. Unless we haven't found it yet, found the rest of them. Where the hell are we? What the heck? All the way over here? I didn't even like explore this section. All right, well, let's take a look at the wall and see if anything is missing for us to explore. No, nope. that's it. Just a whole lot of nothing. I can see him up there, actually. All right, there was an item I wanted to grab, and I think it was over here. Yep, there we go. All right. Let's find our way back in. Do appreciate that I can just send in the horse. Send in the horse. Yeah, I gotta spend these souls at some point if I can find a. Uh... I can't say if I can find a uh... grave. There's or a bonfire. There's bonfires all over the place. I got an idea. Woo! Oh, 
you just hit so hard. That, what the hell is that? Teleport dodge kick. Get out of here with that nonsense. You're not a boss, you're just some dude. Get out of here with that makes no goddamn sense infinite stall before you kick move. This game needs less of that. <laughs> it's too much of that. Alright, let's uh... Do the actual big bonks. Oh, there's a grace right here. I've already activated this one too. It might as well just spawn me there. That's a closer side of grace, I think. Or a closer spawn point to getting inside the castle. Fort. Ruin. Whatever. How the hell do I get in this side, right? I gotta go around. Here. There it is. Oh. What? Fat roll? Because of this? Alright, well in that case, there you go. Actually, what I should do... Oh, hold on! Place this once again with... There we go. Okay. Or... Only two? How many of these can I make? Uh... FD Red Lightning Pot? Hey, dude! Oh, uh, he's not getting glitched out this time around. The panic. This man is made of stalls. I can't, like, react fast enough. I think that's the, like, my problem with Elden Ring. A lot of this stuff, it's getting to the point where it's like, I, I don't have the physical reaction time from seeing him start the kick teleport dash to hit dodge. <laughs> At that point, you're literally just going off of timing memorization, because you can't react fast enough. I want to, I want to look it up now. Like, what is the, the, like, human reaction time for visual stimulus? It's Ava, Boomer? Boom, you a new one! Gotta go get my souls back now, again. You know, funny enough, I actually think maybe this is a decent combo. Could be. Did I really throw all my lightning pots? No, I didn't. Uh, hold on, we can put this back on. No, we don't need it, but it's just there for there. And then you do this, and you do this, okay. Maybe we want to go a little bit uh, dodge roll heavy, you know? I'm just saying that just because, you know, lately I feel like we have been talking on occasion about Souls games. It's getting to be a little ridiculous. I wish that this statue was a little bit closer. Kind of doesn't make a lot of sense for it to be so far away. None of the other enemies here actually really posed a threat at all. It's just this guy.
It's not like we can even stagger him, because this enemy, for some reason... Never mind! <laughs> I just never have done it before, I suppose. I could have sworn I fought one of these guys once and I hit him with like six heavy attacks and it didn't stagger him. It's interesting that that, that that does. I guess the difference is I kept hitting him. You know, I didn't give him a moment to catch his breath and reduce his own stagger buildup. Just kept the aggro going. And it worked. Andy did. All right, what do we got? Is it worth it? Two-handed sword talisman. Time for edge, but try two-handing. Enhances attacks with two-handed weapons. That's not that bad. I'm technically two-handing right now, right? 22446? Oh, we just checked. Two to four forty six. Um maybe it doesn't work? I am two handing it, right? Hmm. The Horde Warriors were fitting figureheads for the military might of the tower. They kept watch over their deft attacks, slashing through any and all foes. Maybe it has maybe it's specific classes of weapons, like great swords and not if you're two-handing any weapon. I don't know. I don't know, but that is this area done. Oh my god, and this this actually does just extend all the way over here, doesn't it? To the south. Yeah, oh my god, so much. East is where we came from. Yeah, that's kind of where I want to go next. That weird... I don't know, churchy door. And there was a spirit spring just to the east. Let's go check that out! I'm okay. Alright. This is the land of... Our friends, who didn't seem very friendly. This rock, I want to get it. Where is that... Spirit stone thing? Spirit spring. That's protected by spirit stones. Or actually, is this one just free to use? Yeah, it's just free to use. Just a chest? Beast horn? Found by hunting horned beasts. It's an aphrodisiac, so I've heard. Didn't expect done. Dung. Hold up, hold up. There's another item. Smithing stone. Trash this item ahead. It kind of does look like there's a cave here. Which leads us exactly where I wanted to go. I'm going to do something, though. regret everything. You know what? I don't think I can get back down. Never mind. I was going to leave a message, but... Well, I can't do that now, can I? Treasure ahead. 
I thought this was going to be a doorway. Divine Bird Warrior Ornus. Ash remains in which the spirits yet dwell. Spirit of the Divine Bird Warrior, from whom the Horned Warriors claim descent. Clad in golden armor and granted wings and feathers by divine invocation. Ornus succeeded in taming the Divine Bird and made its wings his own as he soared through the sky. When he finally fell to Earth, he lived on as the guardian deity of the Temple Quarter. Yeah, doing a real good job. Places have fallen to ruins. Okay, so it's just an item. I thought this was going to be like the entrance to a dungeon or something. That is not the case. In that case, over here... Where the hell did I put that message? Way too far away. Let's be here. Still too far away. Okay, how about here? There we go. Spirits. Spirits are there. How the hell do you get down? You know what? Don't be like this guy. <laughs> Just gonna... Just gonna do this. <laughs>